guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reina. Today I've got some e.l.f. skincare products to review for you. I've been testing out seven e.l.f. cosmetic skincare products over the last four to six weeks and I've chose from cleanser to toner, serum and cream and moisturizers. I do find some really good ones and also some ones I think may be a little bit of over hot. I'll go through each product in the order of how I apply them in my morning and nighttime skincare routines and also just touch on their ingredient list a little bit as well to see if they're actually worth the money. So if you're wondering how I feel about the e.l.f. skincare products, let's just keep on watching. Just quickly mention, all of the e.l.f. skincare products are free from sulfates, parabens and phthalates and also they are cruelty free and 100% vegan. Start with a cleanser, I've got their daily face cleanser. I've got a travel size because I'm testing it out, I don't know if I I will truly loving these but their full size are 150 ml and retail for 14 Australian dollars to me this is a gel forming cleanser it's actually quite gentle but it also has the ability to remove all my makeup residuals all of their baby blue packaging having fragrance I know they have one cream their multi peptide cream having a fragrance free version which they label on their packaging do look for that one if you are allergic to fragrance about this cleanser, it does not have any harsh chemicals, but it also does not have any nourishing ingredients either. So I think it's a really average drugstore performance cleanser and it sells for $14 for 150 ml. Is it overpriced? I think it's it's okay, but there's more affordable and better cleansers that I can find from drugstore. So I will continue to use this up, but I will not repurchase. I don't see any particular reason that I'm so loving this. After I cleanse my face, I've used the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is actually a solid form toner or you can use it as a makeup primer. When I first using this, I was really struggle remember putting this after cleansing my face. I just feel like this is like a balm that's supposed to go on the last step of your skincare rather than the first step. But now after I get used to it, I've been really, really enjoying this one. So this one retail for 24 Australian dollars for 15 gram. I've got a travel size as well here. It's got shea butter, olive vera, coca, grape and vitamin E in their ingredient list. So it just hydrates and nourish the skin before you go on to your serum. I like how it comes with a solid form rather than a liquid form. I think it's so travel friendly. I can take it when I'm on a plane or if I'm traveling in hotels. Um, I just don't have to worry about bringing a toner with me or even a cotton pad with me along. I can just put it on, massage all around my face and give this hydration whenever I want. And I've also used this as a primer. It only provides the actual hydration. It doesn't help lasting the makeup any longer. It doesn't minimize my pores. But for boosting up the hydration level before you're putting on your foundation, I think it does the job. So I've been really keen to purchase another full size of this if I can go on trouble in the near future when you know the lockdown is a bit of ease it off a bit um, but yeah I do really like it I've never thinking I'll be liking a stick toner in the past and this is my first time testing out a like solid form of toner and I've been really loving this all right after prep my skin I've got serum to go after I've been using two different serum one in the morning and one during the night time the morning one that I've been using is the elf beauty shield vitamin C pollution prevention serum this one retails for $32 for 28 mils I've got a full size here it has ethyl ascorbic acid as in the second or the third ingredients um, this is a vitamin C derivatives and it also have glycerin as nourishing ingredient and also pomegranate extract as a natural antioxidant to promote collagen production as well so as a vitamin C serum I've been really enjoying this in my previous uh, skincare routine videos I did mention that I would like to use pure ascorbic acid eventually as a serum but at the moment I'm still using different derivatives because I had bad experience with my ascorbic acid in the past I went too strong to start with and my skin would just wasn't tolerated well so I'm still building my steps all the way back to ascorbic acid slowly and I do think this is a really good derivatives I've used 
all throughout the six weeks and there's no irritation. It actually comes in a quite thick liquid consistency. So you do need to take 30 seconds or so to get it all sink into your skin. And once it's all set, you can go ahead for your moisturizer. The thing about vitamin C is it actually helps um, against the sun damage to fight against the free radicals. So it's a really, really good antioxidant. But keep in mind, if you're using vitamin C, you do have to use your sunscreen. Please, please put your sunscreen on if you put in your vitamin C. The other thing I like about this one is I like the packaging. I've used the ordinary one for a long time and because you have to design a bottle against the UV light so the packaging is always quite dull and they're all looking the same in a brownish dark color but this one comes in the pearl packaging but is also against UV light and the stopper around the bottle is very very tight as well so I know it's trying its best to keep the ingredients as active as it can and prolong the lasting so I do really like the packaging as a bonus for price wise I don't think it's the cheapest one most affordable one that you can find but it's definitely not the most expensive one and consider it having the acid ascorbic acid as a such a high up in their ingredient list I do recommend this is a really good product and I might repurchase this to replace my current the ordinary vitamin C before I get myself all the way back into pure ascorbic acid and if you're someone just trying to uh, start trialing some vitamin C I think this is a really good one to start with and elf cosmetics always have some sales on so do wait for that I purchase all my skincare when they're having 40% sale now holidays is coming up so there's gonna be more discounts and promotions going on and do wait for that and then get a uh, bargain press my nighttime skincare serum is one of their booster drops. I've got in their antioxidant booster drops. This one contains multi antioxidant. This retails for 22 Australian dollars for 15 mils. It is quite a small bottle and this is their full size. So comparing the size differences. Um, this one has um, glycerin as in moisturizing ingredients and niacinamide within. Niacinamide is another really good ingredient that I like to put in my skincare routine. So it minimizes the pores, help oil controls, smooths the skin texture, even the skin tones. And they also have some anti-inflammatory properties and can help against early aging signs as well. Apart from that, it also having a 3-O-F the ascorbic acid, so it's another vitamin C derivatives in there. Also having vitamin E as a nourishing ingredient and it also having snow mushroom extract. I've been looking for some skincare products to have snow mushroom within and this is one of the first one that I found so I was really really excited about this. So a little bit of background about snow mushroom. This is more like a natural ingredient. It, it's used a lot in Korean skincare or Asian skincare beauty. So snow mushroom is like a natural natural source of hyaluronic acid. It's not as strong as hyaluronic acid, but it's having a smaller molecules. So it's much, much easier to penetrate into your skin and it can also help maintain the hydration level. And that's something hyaluronic acid does not have. On top of that, snow mushroom also having a benefit helping cell growth. So it can help to speed up the healing process of the wounds, such like acne skins. If you've got pimples, it can actually make the skin heal up a lot quicker. So I really prefer snow mushroom over hyaluronic acid as a moisturizing ingredient. And I'm so happy that this one contains snow mushroom as well as niacinamide, vitamin C derivative, glycerin, and vitamin E. For the price, it's $22 for 50 mils. Regular serum is around 30 mils, so that will be way over $40. So that's making e.l.f. as an affordable brand having a quite high press tag. But keep in mind, they do have multi-antioxidant key ingredients within this little bottle. I will definitely stock this up when they're having another sale. I like how they combine all these ingredients in and it's so nourishing on the face. I have no irritations whatsoever. You don't feel anything. It's very lightweighted. I do recommend to try it out if you're someone really looking for a nourishing base but also some active ingredient skincare products. After applying my serum, I'll go ahead with their eye cream. I've got in their illuminating eye cream. This retails for 28 Australian dollars for 14 gram and it has a lot of natural um, ingredients in there. They're having cucumber extract and green tea extract so those helping the puffiness and help reduce the dark circles 
chemicals and green tea is also a natural antioxidant ingredient and they also contain glycerin, shea butter, jojoba seed oil and vitamin E. So these are just nourishing ingredients in there and they also have sodium hyaluronate. So sodium hyaluronate is another form of hyaluronic acid. It's more stable so you see sodium hyaluronate more often in the cream form. It's more easy to formulate it. I think it's a really basic nourishing eye cream. It's very light weighted. It's very lotiony texture, so easy to absorb underneath your eye. So if you're someone really struggle and hating to put those thick cream underneath, you probably will like this one a lot better. But to me, I do have fine lines and I'm in my mid 20s, but my under eye areas is very dry. So I would prefer a little bit more thicker or creamier, rich cream under the eye area here. With this one, I did use a lot to get the amount of hydration that I like and I can get away with it. But I can see myself if it's in a couple years time, I'll definitely don't think this is enough for me. I reckon this is more suitable for a younger age group or if you just don't have much of um, concerns under your eye, you just purely want to give some hydration. In terms of puffiness and dark circles, I don't think it does anything. To I don't see a difference. The full size is 14 grams and it sells for $28. I do actually think it's a bit pricey considering the ingredients list. There's nothing, there's no too exciting ingredients to me. But it's not a bad product and I've been fine with it. There's no irritation and I don't see any alcohols in there as well. But I just don't think it's exactly my cup of tea. Last step is the face moisturizers. I've got their daily hydration moisturizer in the morning. This retails for 19 Australian dollars for 75 ml and this is actually a award-winning product. I won the 2015 and 2017 Allure Best of Beauty so I was really really interested when I was got this one. I think it must be so good that so many people love it so it was award-winning product. Looking at the ingredient list it has jojoba oil, shea butter, grapeseed oil. These all provides deep nourishment to the skin. It also has aloe vera leaf extract, vitamin E, cucumber fruit extract, and sugar cane extract. So all these natural extract, particular sugar cane, it's like a natural source of AHA. So AHA is a chemical exfoliate. So it helps get rid of some of the dead skin cells. And AHA is also enhancing the natural moisturizing within the skin. So it's helping the moisturizer ingredients in there further penetrate into the skin and lock it in within your skin. This is also a very light weighted lotion feeling cream or should I say a gel-ish type of moisturizer. It absorbs so quick into the skin and left with no techiness, no oily, no shine, no greasiness. But I do feel like maybe it's just a hint of a bit too light weighted to me. I do feel like I may can use a little bit more hydration or more moisturization in a cream. So if I'm gonna use it by itself, I do think maybe it's a little bit too light to me. Particularly, I have makeup after that. So I do want to have a really prepped, hydrated base before I go on for any makeup. But if you just use it by yourself and if you're having a combination to oily skin, I think you might really like this one. I have normal to combination skin and I think it's just enough for me. And for the night time, I have their nourishing night cream. This retail for 24 Australian dollars for 50 grams. And it has a very, very similar ingredient list to their daily cream. It also contains shea butter, jojoba oil, vitamin E, aloe vera, cucumber, and sugar cane. The extra ingredients in here are glycerin and sodium hyaluronate, so a little bit more hydrating, moisturizing ingredient in. Even it's adding two more uh, moisturizing ingredients, I still think this is a very, very lightweight, very, very basic cream. So this one comes with a very similar consistency compared to the daily cream as well. Both of this having a quite lotiony texture, quick absorption into your skin and feels pretty nourishing but it does not have enough of hydration. 
I tried to use this night cream by itself and I found I do need to add something else. What I've been using after the first week of testing this out is use this one for a couple days and then maybe on the third day I'll add another moisturizer on just to lock it in, give my skin a little bit more water to make it feel more hydrated and then go back to this one on the fourth and the fifth day and come back on the sixth day with another moisturizer on. So I try to just use this by itself to see how I feel and my final feedback is it's just not enough for me and like I said I have normal to combination skin if you are drier than me I do think you will not receive all the hydration you need from this one and price wise this 50 gram for $24 and this is 75 ml for 19 with very very similar ingredients if you want to try one of their e.l.f. cream, go ahead for the daily hydration moisturizer. Maybe this is why this is the award-winning product rather than the night cream because they're so similar in terms of ingredients, but this is way expensive than this one. For their eye cream and moisturizer, I do think it's more targeted to young age group, someone who does not have a lot of skin issues and the skin is not that thirsty. And if you found a lot of the drugstore cream can be too thick, too greasy, too hot to blend, to absorb into your skin. Try the e.l.f. ones. They are very, very lightweighted and quick absorbed into your skin. So you might really liking these set. In conclusion, my favorite product from e.l.f. is definitely their serums. The Beauty Shield has a few different serums as well as their booster drops. I can see myself trying all the other ones in the near future and I know their facial oils are very good, having great reviews as well. And they also having a peptide cream which is quite popular and that one's got a fragrance free version. I might just accumulate all these skincare products during the next sale and then test it out in the near future and see if I can find a full face of my favorite e.l.f. products to recommend to you guys. But that's everything for today. I hope today's video is helpful and informative. And if you're wondering all the skincare ingredients that I really like to put in my skincare routine, I'll leave that video definitely down below and up in the cards. And like I said at the beginning, if I made any mistakes or you want to correct me, feel free to comment down below. I'm just learning and I want to share and I will be really appreciated if you share your experience with me. I'll also do more skincare reviews. I've got a few brands already lining up for me to test. So each of these reviews takes four to six weeks. So I usually do these videos probably once per month. So if you like contents like this, please consider subscribe my channel so you don't miss out any future videos. And I hope you guys stay safe and stay positive. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.